What's up, guys? How you guys doing today? Yeah, so I'm <laughs> sorry. Look, 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 this we're gonna walk through. I say it sucks. It's not now. <laughs> it's not. This is the real big game for you. Yes, I got you. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? I got you. <laughs> yeah, I got you to watch my um rugby videos. <laughs> right. What I got. A mini marshmallows. Yes, that does it in the upgraded. We got crumpet as well. Yeah. Look at that bag. <laughs> Pink colour. Yay. <laughs> and we're the same t shirt. Look. Pick a white. And no one a pick a white. Now, and why you do the search? I want you to push a quiet here. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> One, two, three is open. Four, <laughs> pig, and five. Yeah, there's the pick colour down in the bottom in the cupboard. Yes. <laughs> I want you guys a quiet, please. You got it. And so... Oh, yeah, so a bit of a stone in the video. Um, I'll show you my eye part of it. I'll do it. What I've got in the videos. Uh, yeah, I know I said the gaming video. I know I said gaming Friday. Um, I'm gonna say to the bit it's not gaming Friday. So, don't know what I'm feeling. And so, you know, I got that for a friend. My son. Right. I was in the East Enders. Two beds for ten. Don't worry about that. My sister dog. Lottie. Yeah, my sister dog Lottie, the birthday today, so and also my dad dog Stanley, his birthday today, too. So he brought up the sisters. My sister got black dog, <laughs> he got brother, he got brother, and I got Stanley, my dad dog, his white colour. So you know, you know, yeah, I know where this is dog skins. Right, there you go. That's enough. Right, I've got a um, YouTube greatest on my in my own. And uh, you look, and uh, we got Apple Mystic for you guys. Um, here we go. You want to learn one of those? Now uh, you got them. Uh, you iOS. And that's why you got you cost of all of those. <laughs> and also, you want to get the Apple Watch Series 8 is here. You, know, you want to get in to buy it. Here it is. You, know, you want to get it, my blessing, right down here. So I'm not doing it. It might be a kind of Christmas or not. I really don't know. <laughs> So here we go. All the instructions for you. And also I've got a YouTube greatest on um, mine. We got a um tell you Ben's face on blogs we actually sent on attacked a you viewers with this tips. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, look at this. And I will attack the you viewers guys. And also the um uh, to do with Ben's special blocks, sound on this side, bum nails, and attack the U fans. So I'm gonna go um I did that a um a quick look on this. I've got a um YouTube video so you'll see in a minute. And it gives a stick a give a stick pick 
and make a um, pop and they keep it real and um, about the clay based and most important thumbnails might be able to do in mind that it's called it's clay based and not clay based and uh, you, you, you know so we got 39 bouncy lives so it's it's October it's stupid Halloween day today oh, I hate this so much Right. Imagine the timeline of a person who has subscribed to more than a hundred channels. Imagine the timeline of a person I'm sorry. who has subscribed to more than a Imagine the timeline of a person who has subscribed to more than a hundred channels. Every day this person is going to see dozens of new thumbnails, which means that yours is going to have to stand out from the rest, doesn't it? and I have a channel called English in Brazil where I teach English to Brazilians and discuss a variety of topics. Thumbnails are extremely important because they are one of the first things that people will see of your video. In this masterclass episode, I'm going to give you some suggestions on how to improve your thumbnails and the chances that people click on your videos. Thumbnails have to be appealing, and I'm sure you can do it, even if, like me, you're not a Photoshop expert. So here are some characteristics of a good thumbnail. Number one, it is attractive. Of course, it needs to be attractive, it needs to stand out, so a good thumbnail is beautiful, it has nice contrasts, and it makes people feel excited to watch your video. Number two, it is clean. It isn't cluttered. It's okay to use text. I use text all the time. Try not to put too much information. Try not to use more than four or five words uh, and try to make these words stand out from the background. Number three, it has the same colors and patterns as your banner. It is important because it shows your identity and it makes people easily recognize your video. And number four, it has a human element. People want to see your face. They want to establish a connection with you. So try using close-ups on faces or showing strong emotions. I know it may sound silly, but it does help. I used to look the same in all my thumbnails, always the same smile and the same face, which is okay, but it's boring and predictable. So I started making faces or taking screenshots of funny moments of my videos, and I think it's been working. I think people feel more encouraged to watch my video. And you can use different styles of thumbnails for different shows on your channel uh, because people will know what to expect. Uh, for example, I have a series called Survival English where I teach basic English to survive abroad. And I have a very specific design for this series. So when people see one of these thumbnails, they will immediately recognize this video as a survival. Bible English video by Karina Fragoso. So now you know how your thumbnails can make you get more views. In the next masterclass video, which is the last one in the series, we're going to talk about some finishing touches like playlists, subtitles, and end screens that can help you stand out amongst so many channels. See you next video. There you go. the top of my issues on the WhatsApp thank you. I'm gonna give him talkie too. Alright. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's it, gonna let you know about it. So, you want to my you viewers of my video, please do, because I've got an email for it. So, I want you guys to go to you viewers of my YouTube channel. I've got no, I got no banter. No, I, I need to get banter. <laughs> I've got no banter. So, I, I, want, I want a banter. I want a Scottish beam and then my. Face in my body. <laughs> so you really know that. And let's go to swipe this video. Yay! You know the one you saw the pattern music. I don't know what it is with the copyright. I keep talking to you guys. You just see, keep, keep talking. I just want to press a not to. And uh, you like a little more reaction um, on the YouTube. And uh, like I did a Grim, Grim Toy Show. We brought the Wim Donna the next door. We bought. I got another one for you on what's called do of. Yes. <laughs> That's later today. So.
So, uh, what are the this video today? And uh, now you know I give you an update. <laughs> oh, what to tweet. Right, y'all. Let's get it straight this video. Sorry if you don't like it. And sorry I'll be a later behind, so. Here we go. It's a grey one. I don't get my paper to pen. I know off camera, so the mud clearly better for this. Just upload my video to this later minute today. I'll go for that one number seven. Oh, I'll do this. Let's go. The Crusaders won three titles from 1998 to 2000, despite each final being played away from home. They again won the competition in 2002 after going through the season unbeaten. Justin Marshall is here with me in the booth. Electric atmosphere here, Justin. Oh, absolutely. It's set for some good rugby. The players couldn't wish for a better surface than they'll get here. The field is in great condition. Both teams will be pumped up for this one. It should be a great game. Plenty to look forward to going into this game, then. So, we're about to get going. Carter makes the kickoff. Bobo takes in the kickoff. Fatia delivers it to a runner. He's taken down hard. Shut down with a brutal tackle. And can't complete the tackle. The Sharks chasing well. Short run through to his support line. Spins it off. He's been hit hard. Crusaders, I think they still have this ball. Top takes some stopping in that run. It's there. Strong defense. He's been hit high and looks in some pain. They've earned the penalty. Oh, yeah, that was a high one. He could be in real trouble for that Nisbo. We can see a card here. He'll look to find touch. Don't wave your boys, Ben. And that's a line out. Why the sign I do I ain't doing this every day to the little thing annoying me. Luke Romano grabs it. Trying to get a drive going here. The ball controlled at the back. Ellis smashed hard. And he's crunched to the ground hard. And that held this ball perfectly. Wyatt's profit picks up and runs. The crowd can't believe it. Turnover. Good turnover. Excellent start. Strong driving defense there. Now he gets the ball away. Lambie gets the crowd on their feet with that run. This is a ball. Cooper tries his luck with a kick. Up he goes to make the catch. That pass was fired very flat. Back inside. Tremendous tackle there. McCaw is absolutely smashed. The ball there now. Lovely tackle. Driven hard into the turf. And the ball's turned over. It was good work by them leading up to that. Couldn't agree more. Mbobo gets some speed up. He'll look to set it back. Gankowski moves it on. And a good show of strength there to beat the tackle. Well contained. Reinhardt pops it up. Into Arira. Trying a drop kick from range now. Dag takes it in the air. Yeah, fantastic catch to secure the ball there. There's some real force in this defense. Great turnover. Built some pressure. And they turned the ball over very well. 
Sure lost forward. A good chance for there by a sloppy handling. So Riff playing advantage. <laughs> he really should have been able to take the ball from the look of it, but he lost it. Good work in the rack by the Crusaders. And he's shaken up by that one. And they'll come back for the scrum. Makes his way back on. Nicely rested after his 10 minutes on the sideline. First scrum in the game. Fine. Well, they find themselves under a bit of pressure here, Sick. don't they? A brutal contest in the scrum. Both teams putting pressure on. Ball's out here. Ref says ball is out. There's a go at the defence. Looking to jink his way through. Passes the 22. Very good run indeed. He puts on a good burst. Here he is, dancing his way through. Reed brought down after a good run. Oh, good luck. And that's a penalty. Well, it looked high to me, and the ref agreed too. So, they're going to kick for touch, not going for three. So, this is a line -out. Claims the ball. Ball forms. Quiet. This is a big run and they're oh so close. The Sharks have turned it over. Did well to create the turnover. There's nothing between these two teams as we go to half time. Just a bit messy so far, Justin. The interesting thing is the stats, Lisbo. Leading in terms of territory. They'll be happy with that, I'm sure. There have been a fair number of line breaks in this game. It makes for thrilling rugby. Handling will be an area of concern. They'll be dropping the ball far too often. The ref has arrived and we're ready for the second half. Yes, it goes. We are back underway. Kick on. Dragged it. It's still alive on the attacking side. I like that run hard at the line. Pretty poor defence, really. Down he goes. He's trying to turn it over quickly. Back he goes. Crusaders looking to have another go. Possible turnover here. Dyson grabs it out of the back. They'll do well to hold on here. They have to release the ball now. Minson carries it over the 10 meter line. Back to his feet quickly and wrestling for the ball. Marais a little careful with that bouncing ball. Such a great catch in his boat. The Sharks might still have the ball. Peterson picks it out of the back. Up he goes and makes the catch. Yeah, he took a great catch. gets this kick away. No hesitation, hits it superbly, and it goes over for the three points. Yeah. <laughs> and the kickoff is made here. Crofty snaps up the kick. Sabres looking to go again here. 
He gets crunched to the ground. Daniel Carter is brought to a halt in that tackle. Delivers him short. And they drive him into the ground. Could see him find support. And a good follow-up here from the number six. Pushes it on. Short pass. Richie McCaw going hard. On his way to the try line. Yes, that's very impressive, I have to say. This is an exceptional try. What a try! He should be pretty chuffed because he did a fantastic job there. Yes, indeed. You can see his pace here. It is remarkable. No one could catch him. But it was a great pass that set him up. Dead right. Daniel Carter lines this one up. Pretty good kick heading towards the uprights. The conversion is good, and we have a close match here. They've shown some real character to make the scoreboard as close as it is. Superb stuff. <laughs> Stain makes the restart. Kick off, take it in. Could see it brought down in a lovely tackle. Gankowski gets it away. And he's floored in that tackle. And they might have turned it as well. Reinhardt gathers it out of the back. Winsor keeps it going. Sends a good pass. Satoli, the a dangerous runner. And he's tackled into touch. Luke Romano gets it. They are really outstanding in the lineup. It's an area I know they've been working on. <laughs> Not a good tackle that one. Romano unable to tackle effectively. Moody looks for options. That's a very flat pass. Tafua makes a good burst. This is his man. Daniel Carter with an excellent run. And in the corner, try scored. Well, there were some outstanding individual contributions for that try. Incredible. Sensational there from Daniel Carter. It was a beautifully timed run. And the gap, well, it just opened up. Here comes the conversion, and he's not about to take this kick for granted. Not a great kick, it looks like this will go wide, and it just drifts wide. It wasn't an easy kick. Here's the kickoff. Kickoff nicely taken in. He's got pretty good hands, and he pulled off an excellent catch to prove it. Not enough players to the breakdown turner. Getting players here a little more quickly and they managed to turn it over. Mbombo taken into touch. Canterbury line out ball. So, just a few minutes remaining here. <laughs> Sam Whitelock takes oh. it down. They've done really well in the line out so far. It's working perfectly for them. McNichol is absolutely smashed. Walked down dangerously close to his own goal line there. Oh, solid contest won again by the Crusaders. 
strong defence. This match just about over here. Good turnover board. They were banking on getting this back. And now they have one strike. Surrounded by the defence and he still manages to score. He's done the right thing there and a good finish gives them the points. Yeah, it was a brilliant piece of work that led up to this try. You can see it here. They've got their five, they could get their seven. This conversion, not an easy one. It's going to take a bit of finesse. He struck it well and looks pretty useful. That's a great kick from out wide. That is good. Very good kick. And that will be the game. The Canterbury Crusaders jump in the air. They have the win. The Crusaders have won the game. An absolutely brilliant game of rugby. Both teams fought hard and were very evenly matched. But in the end, there could only be one winner. Penalties conceded were a big issue. The lack of discipline can be seen in the figures. They conceded hardly any territory, totally dominating the field position. Both teams did well enough, though. A very close match in the end, Nisbo. So it was a match that could easily have gone either way. A very even contest. There we are, 12-10. The final score, the Crusaders, the winners. From everyone here, the crew and the commentary team, thanks for joining us. Wow, guys, thank you for joining us. I'm going to make another three videos on Rugby 7 3. Yes, and it's only just a minute now because of you two creators. <laughs> oh, we've got pad pipes. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Mm, okay. Hm. Pack pipes on the UC, but I'd like to watch them soon. Right, thank you for the story. I know it's very ten minutes because of the YouTube creators, so I'm going to tell you how to upgrade the most bonus as well. Please do, go to you subscribers, please do. I'm going to better all my videos on my thumbnails in North Clickbait. The one of those just was a my, a my daily bad one, so I really don't know. <laughs> And let you know, please hit the bell and get your notifications along that Mr. Play video. I'll see you very next time. And more videos of the life of the Rugby Sellers Play, and three of them, and now we're double good. So get let you know it's that. And then I'll go with this. Come on. You know, that one please hit. Yeah. You know, that one out. We got three words for you. Now, please hit the bell and notifications along the Mr. Play video. I'll see you then. More videos coming up the way to see. I'll see you guys later. Today, tonight, about the reaction on do up Go wait. You know what I'm about? We got three words for you guys. Eating, yeah. Peace.